As the U.S. presidential candidates strive to convince voters that they would best serve the country's economy, America's electric vehicle industry is emerging as a central focus of the campaign. Some voters recognize the urgency for more electric cars, but others fear the potential effect on dwindling automotive jobs. Mitch McCann traveled to Detroit in the key battleground state of Michigan and the home of America's auto industry to investigate because I, I really want to help the cause. Brian Panabek has spent more than three decades as an auto worker in Detroit, and he's adamant there's only one candidate able to fight for jobs in manufacturing in America's Motor City. Trump is not exaggerating when he says we're on the brink of World War III. All over this, all over this, this issue is one of the key issues that could trigger World War III. It's a bold statement, but Panabeca believes U.S. electric vehicle manufacturing relies too heavily on Chinese materials and that that dependence could escalate into conflict in the coming years. The government is trying to force us into electric vehicles before anybody's ready, the consumers or the infrastructure. Michigan is where Henry Ford revolutionized transportation, down the road from titans like General Motors, Chrysler and Cadillac. The motor industry is often regarded as the backbone of America's middle class, but those days are long in the rear view mirror. Between 2000 and 2010, the number of auto manufacturing jobs in Michigan fell by two thirds. The global financial crisis set in and it decimated the economy. But even by the time the pandemic arrived in 2020, again hitting the industry, there were only still half as many jobs as there were in 2000. Across Detroit, there are still signs of factories once vital to the automotive industry. But many buildings have been pulled down or are in the process of being pulled down. And while the state still makes many gas-powered cars, they are preparing for an electric future here too. The Biden administration wants all new vehicle sales to be electric by 2030. It's offering tax credits to drivers buying them, and it's helping manufacturers with grants to convert their factories, allowing them to produce electric cars. Kamala Harris is expected to continue the current administration's policies, and some reports suggest the Democratic nominee has softened her position on electric vehicle mandates. Attention auto workers, Kamala Harris wants to end all gas-powered cars. Crazy, but true. They have an electric mandate. Every car is going to be electric, they say. I will, I will, I will terminate that now. Donald Trump wants to win this swing state by warning Michigan the industry that put it on the map is under threat from electrification, even if an electric vehicle mandate doesn't currently exist. That's why Brian Pannebecker started the group Auto Workers for Trump. We've closed two engine plants in Macomb County alone in the last few years as they began to ramp up electric vehicle production. Because what does an electric vehicle not need? An engine. And we had engine, we had entire plants that were devoted to doing one thing, building engines. Sales of electric cars in America are increasing, but haven't reached the volume of sales that some had expected. Some of this may stem from concerns about the broader U.S. economy. In August, the country added 20,000 fewer jobs than anticipated, and experts believe that the labour market is weakening. Last year, though, it's estimated 1.4 million electric vehicles were sold in the U.S., up from 1 million in 2022. At Macomb Community College, they're not wasting time. The college equips students with skills applicable to manufacturing electric vehicles. They can expect to earn between $25 and $30 an hour when they start working. That's less than Marissa Jones is currently earning as an auto worker at Chrysler, but she's doing it to future-proof her career. More job security. Actually, it's not more money starting off because I'm at 42 now, but it's more job security and it's education. Can't take education away from me. And it's education they're focused on, not political distractions. There's a lot of political and discussion that typically surrounds electric vehicles, but they're here and they're making their way. Uh, last year we had over 6% of new car sales were in electric vehicles. But what does that mean for U.S. jobs? Uh, most analysts um, assume that um, producing electric vehicles will require fewer workers than traditional internal combustion vehicles. The gas-powered versus electric debate is likely to rage on here well after November's election. But what is certain is that the next president, Donald Trump, or Kamala Harris, 
will play a crucial role in the road ahead. Mitch McCann, CNA, Detroit, Michigan.